This is a real story about a man I met in a tube in 2003 in Seoul, Korea. When he started to give his opinions and observations on my writing, I became so excited, then imagined, he might have been an art critic. Or perhaps worked in any artistic field. My imagination drove me to think, it could have been an accidental opportunity, to build a new relationship to boost my career, as I just had my first solo show, granted by one of the most recognizing contemporary galleries at the time, in Korea. Don't tell me what you think. Yes, I am proud of the fact that I was still at the college when I won the competition. Now I'm nothing. A loser has the right to be pompous and self-congratulatory. Well, at this point, I suddenly dreamed of being a successful artist, which is apparently hopeless, recognized by a secret critic who has genuinely discerning eyes. Wow, lucky me. He seemed very interested in my artist's statement, as he wanted to read closely, and then responded more positively. What more excited me, slipped me into this wild imagination, was that he was tall and fit, quite smart and intelligent looking, I remember. Oh come on, you know we are all attracted to good looking people, aren't we? However, he said, he works in a garage, actually he said he runs a garage. I was really surprised by the fact that, a garage man liked my statement. Oh my god, a garage man is intrigued by my statement. A garage man is interested in art, a garage man wants to see my art, blimey, I'm going to have a very unique friend. I'll have lots of discussion with this man, then it will help my work develop. Gaston Bachelard was a postman, wasn't he? What a romantic alliance, we will be. But, has he actually been to college? Art college? I have seen many graduates from my college are not doing art anymore. Some are happy not doing it. Some aren't. Oh Tilda is it why he understands philosophical statement? Bullshit. You know you are not that philosophical. You just like to be philosophical. Or you might even like the word, only. Phil, lo, so, fee, call. Maybe he has always been very intellectual but given up things like that because of money matters he had to sort out. Trust me, there are lots of people tied by family debt in Korea. What are you talking about? You never know other people's life. You can't just say that. Why not? I'm sure they talk about me too. Anyway, he wanted me to let him know my next move, and I was still very keen to get his address or contact numbers, even though he blew up my brilliant future, I imagined earlier. Bastard. He told me, he had to get off next moment. The tube started to move towards next station again. Oops, what is this? Excuse me, you forgot to give me your address. He had gone, without leaving me his address. I'm sure I said I would send him a leaflet, if I had another show. What, did he, try, to do? Were you bored? Were you only trying to flirt with me? Was it just you, bold enough to talk to a stranger? Why didn't you give me your address? Why didn't you remind him of it, when he told you, he was getting off the tube? Wait a minute, was there something wrong with my leaflet? Was he disappointed with my work images, or images of me when I turned around? Were they completely different from my statement to him? Did I boast something? Possibly. No, I believe, I was trying to write, as honestly as I could. Did I write something irrelevant? Yes, you may have. You didn't know what exactly you were trying to do. Let's be honest, Bonzoon. Well, he did like my statement. But perhaps my work wasn't what he expected, while he was reading the text. In fact... You... Over there. Yes, I meant you. Right now swung by this space to indulge yourself, listened only some bits, or listened the whole of this nonsense by any chance, will remember this moment, me talking, and this show, whatever you like. Won't you? You are my pain, my joy, my misery, my thrill, 
my anxiety, my delight, my nuisance, my mission accomplishment, my inconvenience, my lucky charm, my heartbreak, my bliss, my bore, my sweetheart. What am I supposed to say more? Thank you.